Alright, so Azure Road is the other way. Excuse me. Somewhere out here in the ocean. Oh, it's nice and shallow. Perfect. Yeah, and there she is. Yeah. Get her. Help. Them. I you you just not with the assault rifle doesn't work underwater you say It says 16%, but it goes up to 36 over here. I wish I knew how PAL spheres worked. Also, come on, the percents aren't that bad. Thank you. I'm on fire. I think that's it for the low levels. But I did see a seal over here. When we were checking out the fort ruins. So let's head back to to here and we'll teleport over there. Woo! Right? Azure robe's a pretty cool one. I do like the cows, though. So happy we found a giant boss cow. Okay, yeah, I'm real curious about this seal over here. Oh, I just have a grenade in my hand. Let's put that away. Over there, is that the place? Looks like the place. We'll go through the ruins, through the archways, like nature intended. Almost look slick there for a second. Marsh Island. Alright, who's here? Sealed Realm of the Invincible. Uh, yeah. 
Well, we hit level 21. I don't remember doing that. So level 23 should be doable. Or our friend Suzuku Aqua is level 14 now. All right, stat points. Uh, let's boost our health. Catrice, you're invincible? Oh, shoot! Get him! Get the assault monkey out there. Assault monkey, you need to get closer. There we go. Get the gun! Oh, she's right on top of me. I don't like it. Oh man, you really gotta shoot her in the eyes. Eat grenade! Boy, I'm terrible at that. Alright, Mew 3, I choose you. There we go. Ow! You're a dark type. I don't even know it works on you. I think it's dragon, really. Can I shoot that? I can't. I'm excited to get this cat. Ooh, first try. Catrice. The power of shadows, it produces arcane phenomena. Prefers to eat raw food, raw, and something else. I need to get better at reading these fast. Let's see, we leveled up. Let's get a gun! Shoot. Yeah. Guns. I think gunpowder is probably going to be necessary. Two food slots. Neat. Yeah, that sounds worth it. Invincible. We'll see about that, lol. Yeah, right? I gotta say, like, when it said invincible, like, the cat witch wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting, like, something, like, covered in armor. Something a lot more tanky, like this guy. That guy would make sense. What is this place? Oh, I know this place. This is where I started the game in my other playthrough. Oh wait, since we know we can take out a level 23 now, we can get King Paka, Wyvern, Bellbat. Yeah, we got a few on the list. But let's go over here. I want to show you where I started my other base in my other playthrough. My armor's damaged. It's just my hat. 
You know, the bowler hat's actually pretty weak. Do you guys have anything good? A demud? Yeah, I'll free that. What's up? Target acquired. Zap. Hello, everybody. Why is my spark glass not sparking? There's a little glitch there. My spark glass was doing shark shock wave. Whoops. The mud. I'm sorry. Let me out. There you go. Yeah. Yep. All right, yeah, my base in my other playthrough is over here. Ooh, leather. Excuse me, Cremus. Oh. He rearranged the skills, like, while I was using him. Now everything's out of order. Lightning streak is the new thing he learned. Okay. But yeah, I put my base under here, and it's been huge. For one, I've got a tree in my base, and so I've got a ridiculous amount of skills that I can use at any time. I've got an egg spawn over here. Got a Lift Monk effigy, which I haven't seen respawn. I don't think they do. Which makes me worried that there aren't enough of them. It's very scenic, right? It's also a terrible place to build your base because uh, your pal have no idea how to pathfind around here. They're constantly teleporting up to the upper area. Which, like, if you look at the overhead map, like, there's an entire area above that you can be. And whenever there's a raid, there are things up there. It, it's been kind of a mess. Let's eat that bread. Feed some bread to the bird. So, like, building a base in here was a mistake, but it is pretty. If I could do it again, I'd probably build the base, like, out there on the back side. But it's really nice having a dungeon spawn in your base and a skill tree and an egg. Like, I'm never short on any of those. Oh, and there's a treasure chest right around the corner here. I mean, anything for aesthetics, right? Well, yeah. I don't know. It, for this game, I I want aesthetics, but at the same time, <clears throat> if my pals keep getting stuck trying to do their automated jobs, like, it's really crippling to the entire game. Like, pals need to be able to, to do things. And so, like, the best place to put your base in Pal World is really just a wide open area. That way you can actually play the game. Like, even my base, like, right up against a cliff is kind of not the best place for a base. Alright, did we see any bosses while we were there? <gasps> A grin tail. Yeah, we're not leaving without that. It's a kitty.
There he is. Whoops. I guess this is how we're starting. Get him. Oh. Right, right. I used my grenades. Oh, that's mine. Whoops. Forgot what we were fighting. Whoa. You know, body slam? That's pretty cool. Can I ride you, Grintail? doing work now I've never been up here so I'm very curious what's there or have I been up there I don't actually know horsey let me ride you horsey Like, I pressed ride and he would turn around and, like, run the other way. Man, the, this game's kind of buggy. But, if they work out the bugs, this game would be, like, one of the best games ever. Like, if the AI pathfinding was a little better... Sandra Lux. You don't just aggro anybody, right? Yeah. Wait, he does. Okay, never mind. We cool. I think that probably officially makes this the toughest place to ha have a base. Ow. Oh wait, no, that was me running over to them. I chipped a nail, trampling that thing. Like, if that guy just attacks on sight, that makes this a real hard place to start. I think this is one of the starter islands, am I crazy? I mean, both those things can be true, but still. Oh, well, this is interesting. You just gonna let that happen, Mammoth? Okay. We got a little too close. I mean, we let him whittle it down. That thug will find its way over here eventually. Okay, now he's moving.
Okay, never mind. Mammoth has things well in hand. <laughs> he was just ignoring it for for a while. Level 24s on this island? What is going on? Like, there's level 3 monsters, level 10, 24s, and 30s. Like, this place is a mess. And Lift Mug Effigy is like right here on the main path. Like, not even hidden. Walked right by that. Fellas. Like here would be a good place for a base. You've got iron, you've got open spaces. And you know, the environment around's beautiful. What is that? 